Hello and welcome to your evening sessions with me. I'm so glad that you could join me. So straight up, we have the Hierophant and Judgment. I'll tell you each card individually and how they go in pairs with their clarifiers. And then we'll round it all up into a few big messages for you. Okay. So first up, we have the Hierophant, like I said, clarified by the Judgment card. Two major arcana starting off your reading today. The Hierophant is a Taurus energy. Judgment is the Cancer. Did you know a little history for you that the Taurus zodiac and the Cancer zodiac were actually, oh, this is, I'm talking ancient eons ago, they were actually one one constellation or at least the astrologers thought so and later in time they slowly separated and the whole time astrologers thought it was amazing because the constellation of cancer was always bowing to the constellation of taurus and to this day apparently according to astrology they both they kind of bow to each other and in respect they have a lot of love and reverence for each other so when i see the hierophant and a, a cancer um tarot card like for instance judgment or the char chariot it makes me feel like that history this that little history lesson come back to my mind where it's two zodiac signs who are in utmost respect and reverence for each other and they used to actually be as one and over time they had separated into their own being which is really really interesting so the hierophant being taurus is someone who is very committed and just a little little note on the hierophant the hierophant is the number five now five is made up of two which i'll try and do it it's the anima and the animus which is the divine masculine and the divine feminine and maybe if i go like that <laughs> um, but if you put the three and the two together it is a spiritual marriage so it kind of clarifies that that little thing that i said about the cancer and the taurus and they were one and then they separated but they're always in respect uh, and then the hierophant being two and three the divine of each each um gender being as one in a spiritual marriage so and this could very well be you and someone very special around you uniting and the ten of cups right beside it kind of gives me that inkling as well makes me feel that you and someone very special are coming into union but just saying for some of you let me know if that's your story we've got judgment now judgment is about making a final decision it's a very final decision it's like uh when that's it you know the judge bangs that hammer down and says this is my final decision that is like the judgment energy it is the final call okay so for some of you there is a final decision happening around you judgment is also um, about the past returning for some of you, a Taurus may be returning into your experience. Maybe there has been a period of separation or perhaps this is someone from long ago, far away, uh, and they're coming back to re-experience something with you, much like a karmic situation. So, yeah, that's one story. So the Ten of Cups with the King of Swords, very interesting the ten of cups is union okay so maybe this person is coming back for union so it could be the ten of cups is also your bliss it's about marriage happiness and um just really fulfilling your own um destiny in regards to what you've been wanting what you've been really really wanting the king of swords is air 
Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, masculine energy. So the King of Swords is all about information. He's a sapiophile, meaning that he's attracted to knowledge. That is his jive. If he knows someone and then that person tells them even more and that person starts really opening up, he's going to really fall deep. He's like, oh my God, like this is heaven all i want is more and more information so if you put the king of swords in the library he'll be all about those books it's like oh my gosh this is amazing king of swords information that's their jive so you may be going through a moment of information seeking okay it's like i want to know and i want to know everything and i want to know it now Next to the King of Swords is a King of Pentacles, two kings. Okay, so if you are the masculine, you could be going through a period of, I want to know, and what is it about? It's about money, and it could even be from a money man, because King of Pentacles is the money man. He is all about the finances, he's all about the business, he's all about the taxes, he's all about, <clears throat> excuse me, the payroll, and he's all about the bank, okay, because he's all about resources. He could be the CEO of your local grocery store, he could be your accountant, he could be the bank manager, he could be your boss, somebody who's all about the money, okay, this could be you. Okay, King of Swords and King of Pentacles may be you all in one mindset. If you are the masculine saying, I want to know everything about money. Alternatively, this could be you and a money man getting together to talk about something. Okay, or somebody who wants to know information, you might be the money man if you are the masculine. Right next to that, we have the Queen of Swords. Have you noticed it's the queen of the same suit of the king? That's saying that they're actually either a couple. They could be recently separated or divorced. They may even be in business partnership together. Maybe even with the king of pentacles. They work together with the king of pentacles. Queen of swords is an air sign feminine energy. An Aquarius, Libra or a Gemini feminine alternatively it could be you and you could be taking on the exact same characteristics as this king of swords that i just said the information she's a sapiophile too however the queen of swords she's very discerning she doesn't trust everything that she hears if someone comes in and says hey queen of swords and they tell her something she's won't believe them she's like show me the proof i need proof and if you're going to show me proof i need documents i want to see signatures on that okay and i want to see stamps and letterheads and i want to know that this is the absolute total and complete honesty that's the Queen of Swords energy. King of Swords is not so much like that. He's more about, just tell me. I want to know everything. I want to know even if it's not real. Just tell me everything and I'll figure it out myself. The Queen of Swords is all about the truth. And if you tell her lies or if you tell her anything a bit fluffy, she's going to be like, off with your head. Or this could be you saying off with your head to somebody if they tell you the lie. So, next to her is the Two of Wands. The Queen of Swords is making some big decisions right now. She's at a crossroads in her life. And she's making decisions because the Nine of Wands right beside it. She's hit a bit of a wall in, in the week or in the next day or two. She's going to hit a wall. And the wall is something that's stopping her from developing, building and growing. Four of Wands right, right there. Okay, it's like I really just want to go forward with this and I don't know how. So she could be communing with the King of Pentacles and the King of Swords saying... Guys, I really need your help right now. 
can you tell me how get through this block i really need to figure this out and i need your help so the king of pentacles the money man might help her with her financial blocks and the king of swords is going to give her information it may even be her partner because he's right next to the two of cup uh, the ten of cups okay and he might be the hierophant and judgment with the queen of swords okay so they may be a pair or business partners or even exes that still stay in touch but it's it's really talking about business and finance because of the king of pentacles and she's going to get some guidance and advice on how to reach the four of wands now four of wands is about expansion about growth it could be business growth because of the king of pentacles and the three of pentacles right there okay it could be about development of business about finances about savings it could also be about something that she really enjoys doing because it's wants okay it's really all about i really want to grow develop and and make this happen um, and ten of wands is saying it could be a bit of a struggle but the best thing that i like about the key, the ten of wands is that she's almost at the finish line it's just a few more steps and she's going to get there and then things are going to go forward again so there she's going to have this meeting in regards to five of cups okay she may be a bit emotional she may be getting together with the king of swords saying i'm really sorry about the past i'm really sorry about what happened because she's getting together at this meeting with the king of pentacles and the king of swords who happens to be her ten of cups and she's saying i'm really sorry about what happened five of cups so i just i feel a lot of regret okay and i kind of i'm sorry or there may be a togetherness situation where the communication is all about you know sorry about what happened now queen of swords is double time in this spread indicating she's a big character and so is the king of pentacles okay they're both here double time indicating that there's there's a story and it's revolving around them and the ten of pentacles okay the queen of swords something to do with the scorpio maybe because you've got scorpio in the death card here now if it's not an actual scorpio around you it could very well be ending something okay king of pentacles and ten of pentacles the king of pentacles has a lot of money okay maybe she's paid back a loan or maybe you know she's entered something and then the king of pentacles gives her her ten pentacles meaning that she gets paid so if you're the feminine you may be the queen of swords and then the king of pentacles the money man is finally going to pay you after you know a job well done it's been a hard yard and you've had some guidance through it but you get there in the end and it's a great week because finally the ten of pentacles the king of pentacles like here you go you deserve this finally the queen of swords achieved the end of what she was meant to do okay now if you're the masculine you might be the king of pentacles helping someone out along her her journey it might just happen to be your your special person all right so this this is a really interesting uh reading and i love it how the cards are communicating with each other let me know what you think and if you like my style in reading you can always hit like help my channel to grow by subscribing i love it when you guys do because it just shows me so much love and support on my channel and if you want to hear more twice a day every day from me hit that notification bell and click all that way you won't miss an upload and as always i send you love peace and light bye for now